So every time that you think that you want to start your importation, I know this is a question that most of the beginners they always ask themselves like where do I start? Where do I start? Uh, how much do I need? What are the procedures should I follow? How should should I avoid getting scammed by the so-called scammers? Um, and so many other questions and so that's why I'm here guys and uh, so hi guys my name is Monica and welcome back to my youtube channel on this channel you can see from the title it's just shake it off so in here we'll be just shaking off things you know and we'll be learning a lot of things especially things to do with business and importation among other things that we'll be sharing out in this channel so guys without any further ado let me jump directly into the video and guys please make sure you make maximum use of this information because i'll be highlighting some of the major steps that you need to take while you are deciding on importing and later on in other videos i will try to break down them into each video so that you can get a clear picture of how the entire process of importing take advantage of this and the reason is why i'm saying you should take advantage of this because go on youtube and look in other places you will not get such free information such information is always given given on master classes but i'm here offering free information so make sure you do take uh, maximum advantage of this as i provide it okay so we can jump uh, directly into the point so what are these major steps that you need to look at when you want to import your product the first thing that i usually say you need to decide on the kind of product that you want to import and when you are deciding on this you need to do a very thorough market research especially for those people who are who are not in business how do i want to say this i mean like maybe currently you are not operating that particular business the product that you want to import you are not operating in it you do you need to do a lot of market research and even if you are you are currently in that particular business let's say for example you are in the cosmetic industry uh, as much as now you want to start importing also you need to do some uh, some some research conduct market research and the market research includes the local market research in your country and also a market research to wherever that you are going to source your products from this is a very very important step that you do not need you you can't afford to miss and then second number two you need to get a supplier when it comes to getting suppliers there are a variety of prices that you can get suppliers guys remember i do uh i do focus on china i do not have idea on other countries unless i lie to you so uh there are various places where you can get uh, suppliers and i think i would do uh, a video on the on the same letter for example we've got alibaba this is very common in alipay we've got also aliexpress uh, alipay no aliexpress i'm sorry <laughs> and then we've got pindodo taobao 1688.com Oh my goodness uh made in china mm, i'm forgetting the others there are so so many so and also i can also provide suppliers because guys you know i have really i have uh, previously lived in china and so i've got a number of contacts which maybe i can share but i don't provide them for free so if you need a reliable supplier then you can always get um to my inbox and i'm going to provide this so once you've got your supplier the, the next thing that you need to do i'm assuming at this very stage you are you are you are really communicating with your supplier then you, you need to confirm and agree with your supplier uh, on terms of the price quality and quantity and these are very important factors for example the price of the commodity you need to know the price of the commodity because the price of a commodity de uh, determines how well are you going to be able to sell right and maybe if, whether you can afford this kind of a product when it comes to quality you know depending with your target i would understand the quality of the products here comes in and also on the quantity this is about the moq you need to agree with your supplier the, the, the moq that you can you want to buy and also maybe fit to their terms or whatever the case you need to agree on something then after that the mo the other important step which is step number four you need to calculate the actual price of a product and guys this one is very very important and i know most of us we do miss this step and if you miss this step you know the purpose of a business is making profit and so if at all you happen to miss this step then you are not doing anything you're not you're not doing any any business you know and even if you are doing it proper probably you are you are operating at a loss okay um so what do i mean by cal calculating the actual price of a product remember the buying price that the buying price alone that one does not indicate remember there are other costs 
associated with this product for example if it is in china we've got the quite cost this is the transport cost within um they call it quite deep yeah they call it quite your transport charges um in china then from there you also need to consider uh shipping from china all the way to your country then that there is that there's that uh shipping cost that you need to put in mind yeah i guess those are the major 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 uh, major cost and so eventually with this you are able to determine at what price am i getting at what price am i able to get this product at and once it arrives to my country at this price am i able to sell it and make some profit so this one before even you decide you import the product you decide to pay for that product you need to do the actual calculation and decide whether it's making sense or not making sense you know have you ever had this kind of a story someone saying that oh i don't know the price of this product uh the shipping cost is actually double uh double than um, how do they say they say double than the buying price it's because sometimes you make some of these importation mistakes please 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 don't make this kind of mistakes yeah so you need to learn how to calculate the final or the actual uh, price of the products finally after you decide on the price and maybe you are good with that you decide on the price with the supplier you already know the actual price of the product so what is what is the next thing that you need to do you need to get a shipping agent and i said previously that a shipping agent is very very important because a shipping agent especially for them those people who import in terms of consolidated goods when you ship kidogo kidogo mna combine effort na wengine ndo container na da then you need a shipping agent and at this point you need to get a, a shipping agent and remember a shipping agent it's not just any shipping agent you need to look for a reliable shipping agent i'm not saying that of course kila agency sometimes ina kuanga na two challenges hapa kule but at least look for the most reliable at that particular moment because you find for the agent sometimes unapata ika season wako sawa this season was the next season we two issues so you need to get a very good reliable agent an agency that you know if they promise that your product is going to arrive by this time they are honest they are people who communicate telling whether they, they have already received your product or not so you need such um you need such a shipping agency and, and people if for example you are going to import what do you call this product not perishable which is in as a break hey english is not coming is of it was in as a break then you know that these people are going to take good care of your product and they are going to arrive safely okay and also with your shipping agency make sure that you decide on the most appropriate method for you to ship for you to ship uh, your product remember we've got two shipping methods we've got air and also we've got uh c and also as you decide on this i'm pretty sure that your supplier is going to show you the, the advantages and the disadvantages but if at all you're subscribed to this channel all this i'll be i'll be telling you and then even before you go to your shipping agent you already know what kind of a method do you really want to to use when importing your product depending on so so many factors that i'm going to highlight later on okay then the sixth uh, step which is so easy you have already agreed with the, with the supplier that your goods are going to arrive in one week in two weeks in maybe after 30 or 45 days depending on the shipping uh, method then after this what do you do you just wait sit and wait for your product to arrive but i'm hoping at this time you, you already i'm assuming that maybe you have already paid your, sub, your shipping agent okay so that is it that is it for the so guys i hope that you have understand the entire process and guys in our today's chinese corner i will be teaching you a vocabulary and the vocabulary is did you understand did you understand or understand so if i want to ask you did you understand i would say i would be like a uh, dongla dongla and then because it is a question mark i will put it dong lama dong dong lama lama so i want to know did you understand the entire process on which you are supposed uh, to import this product dong lama me dong lama okay so thank you guys for watching this video until next time bye bye and see you on the next one